Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is another script tutorial. I will be showing you guys how to make simpler game mode commands with script. Let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to head into your script writing program of your choice. Now, if you haven't seen my first script tutorial video, then you might not know uh, what I mean by that and uh, how to start up your first script. So if that's the case, you should go check that one out. It will be up here in the eye or in the description below. I highly recommend that you go check that one out. Anyway, let's start writing some script. So the first thing you want to write in your script is um, options. And then we want to do the next line, a little tab, and do p colon like this. So this is me just setting a prefix for every time our script writes something in the chat. So our prefix is going to be some gray color, then some brackets here. And then inside these brackets, I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to put YouTube like so and then i want to do another gray color here so this bracket is gray too and that's pretty much it so now we have set the prefix for whenever our script says something in chat we can go a few extra li lines down and delete one tab there so we come back to the to the wall here or whatever you want to call it and then let's start the actual script so you're gonna write command and the first one is gonna be creative so, you know, in normal Minecraft, you have to write game mode creative in order to, to, uh, to switch to creative, you know? But we're gonna just write GMC. That is our command in order to go into game mode. We're gonna go an extra line down and one tab, and then we're gonna put a permission. And for now, I'm just gonna set that to op. So all ops want to do it. If you want, let's say, for example, a helper or a mod to be able to use this command, then you can just give it a proper permission like um, gm.creative or something like this. And then if you want your mod to be able to use this command, then you just give the mod role or rank this permission. But right now I'm just going to set it to op because I, I don't really have other roles on my server. I also want to say that these commands are highly inspired by the essential commands. And this is just a much easier way if you know if you don't have essentials and you kind of want to script the whole thing yourself, then this is how you do the, the game modes pretty much. Anyway, um, we can also do a permission message which is what it will say in chat if the player is trying to execute the command but doesn't have permission to do so. Now here we're going to use our prefix. So if you want to use this prefix, you do these two brackets here and then add P. If this up here was an A, for example, then you just change this to A. That's how it works. I just made it a P so it, it represents prefix, you know? Then I guess we could do a little colon like that and then we can start right now message. So I want this to be in red. So I'm doing the C and then we're going to do um, you don't have permission to do that. Something like that. And now we have a little permission message. We can go to the next one and here is where we want to do the trigger. This is a thing you always want to do when you're making commands. And underneath this, we're going to do one more tab. This is where all the magic happens. So there's actually not a lot to this. The only thing you want to write here is set game mode of player to creative. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to add a message as well. So the player actually know that the command worked. We're just going to do message, then some quotation marks, and we're going to do... Yeah, actually, we're going to use our prefix again. So we're doing completely the same thing as up here, and then we're doing... What color should this be in? Green. I think this is green. And then we're going to do your game mode is now. 
And then we can do another color for the for the creative to be cool. Creative. There we go. And that is pretty much it. Now we can go ahead and copy this and go back into Minehut. In case you didn't know from all of my other videos, I am using Minehut for most of this stuff. And on Minehut, I just head to my file manager, my plugins, and my script. So if you haven't downloaded script, then it's, uh, of course, it's not gonna be here. So you wanna go ahead and do that first. Then we go to scripts, and actually we're gonna make a new one and call that, let's just call it command, commands.sk. Then we're gonna find it down here and we're just gonna paste in our code and click save. Now we're back in game and all we wanna do is we wanna reload our commands. So you just do script reload commands and there's no errors or anything. Let's try running the command. So GMC. Uh, <laughs> it works. It has the prefix. Um, it has the wrong color though. I thought that was green, but it was blue apparently. And it made it creative. And now I was already in creative, so we couldn't really see if that worked. So let's do a normal game mode survival. And let's do the GMC again. And look at that. It actually works. Now let's head back into our code again. Actually, first off, I think I'm just gonna change this to gray because I thought it was a bit many colors there. And uh, now we of course wanna do the other game modes. And that is actually quite easy. You just wanna copy the whole thing, go a few lines down and delete that those uh, tabs here and on Atom, it actually works like this. So it's it's still connected to this up here. We don't want to do that. So we just do a little hashtag here and then paste it on the next line. Um, if I didn't do that, I didn't make the hashtag. You can see when I paste it, there's going to be a lot of space here. We don't want that. So you can just do a little, a little hashtag there and uh, then paste it and then it works. Delete the hashtag after. Anyway, this is the same command, but we can just change it. So let's say we want uh, survival here. Change it to an S here. So it's GMS. You go down here, set game mode of player to creative. We change that to, guess what? We change it to survival. Wow. In our message here, we also change this to survival. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to copy this and put it down a few times and then just change a bit. So this one is going to be adventure. So we're going to GMA and we're going to add venture and adventure. And this one is going to be spectator. So we're going to do GMSP and we're going to do spectator and spectator. There we go. Now we can just copy the whole thing again, go into Minehut, delete this and paste the new one save it go back into minecraft and we run the command the the reload command so script reload commands and then we can try it so gms for survival it works it says in chat that i'm in survival gmsp i'm in spectator it says in chat that i'm in spectator gma I am in adventure. It says in chat that I'm in adventure. As you can see, I can't break stuff. And the last one, GMC for creative. Everything works. That's always nice to see. Anyway, that was pretty much it for today's video. This one was a really simple one. Just a kind of a funny one that I thought I would share with you guys. Um, if you have any further questions, make sure to join my Discord server and ask your questions there. Link in the description. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.